The Levi Mwanawasa Medical University is the largest purpose-built medical university in Zambia. It is the country's first ever specialized public university for health studies training. Levi Mwanawasa Medical University is an amalgamation of the four premier health training and service institutions, namely the Chinama College of Health Sciences, the Dental Training School, the Chinama Hills Hospital, and the Levi Mwanawasa University Teaching Hospital. The Levi Mwanawasa Medical University has great teaching environment that promotes strong foundation for students' careers in health professions. It prepares students for their vocation and various callings in life by creating a coherent learning environment that promotes student experiences and equips them with skills for a life career in the health sector. I'm a medical student at Levi Mwanawasa Medical University. I am in the microbiology lab where we are taught on how to diagnose disease and based on what we see. Levi has high class infrastructure and has the best equipment when it comes to microbiology and other courses. So as you can see I'm in the microbiology lab where we have a lot of equipment that is used for us to be familiar with everything. So I'm encouraging those who are just finishing with their grade 12 to register with Levi Mwanawasa to pursue anything that you want under the health sector. I am a second year MBCHB student at Levi Mwanawasa Medical University and here today we are in one of the state-of-the-art labs that house uh, many uh, equipment that helps us to learn about uh, cells and the different pathologies that we have in, the, in these tissues and cells. So in these labs we have very state-of-the-art, easy-to-use uh, microscopes and we learn how to properly use the microscopes and properly see the tissues that are there. So it helps us identify what is the normal and any pathologies we see in the cells and the tissues. And it's benefited me as a student because I can come here and get to see practically what I learned in my studies. The hallmark of the Levi Mwanawasa Medical University is to offer a pragmatic solution to the perennial shortage of health workers by accelerating the education and training of health workers to attain sufficient numbers of qualified health professionals to support the attainment of universal health coverage. The School of Nursing offers 11 programs in various nursing fields. We offer both the Diploma and the Bachelor of Science programs. Under Diploma, we have the following programs. We have the Diploma in Nursing, the Diploma in Midwifery, Diploma in Mental Health Nursing, Diploma in Public Health Nursing, and Diploma in Oncology. We also have advanced diplomas in HIV nurse practitioner and also in oncology nursing. Under the BSc programs, we have the BSc nursing, the BSc midwifery, the BSc mental health, the BSc public health nursing, and the BSc ophthalmic nursing. The school is also planning to start the BSc oncology. As you may be aware that uh, cancer patients have uh, increased and we are understaffed in this area. So as a school, we have plans to contribute to the enhancement of the economy by producing quality nursing. And this also includes the oncology nursing so that they will provide that quality care to the oncology patients. And so when the, patients, the, the students come into our programs, they are expected to do the training through two components which are offered. And this is through theory and also through practical. The theory part is done in classroom. Yeah, so they're expected to practice in the skills lab before they can go to the wards. This is to minimize the risk of harm that can come if students were just sent directly to the practicum sites. And so this is where the skills lab comes in. This is a, a patient who is a cardiac patient. Uh, remember we said that the students, they undergo theory and practical. So when we bring them here, they will see exactly what they learned in class. 
they are taught that patients that have got difficulties in breathing are supposed to be nest in a certain position. And when they come here, we'll show them exactly that position. And as you can see, the bed is tilted up there to help the patient with breathing. And then the patient also is connected to the oxygen so that it, it, the patient is helped to breathe properly. All these, they are taught in class. So the essence of the skills is that they'll be able now to integrate that theory that they learned in class with the real situation. So the students here, the skills that they are going to learn is how to nurse a patient who is having difficulties in breathing, the position that they have to be, uh, to be put in the bed, and the accessories that are supposed to be there. When the patient wants to eat, they can put food there because these patients, you know, they cannot sleep flat, so they can, it can aid in the patient to put their arms here and just to rest and to expand the chest. This will also relieve them the problems of uh, the difficulties in breathing that they have. The patient may also need IV fluids to be given to them. So the students will know how to connect that IV fluid and how to uh, insert a cannula on a patient. They will also learn how to regulate the oxygen cylinder because there is a, a minimum or maximum oxygen that is supposed to be given to the patient depending on the age of the patient. So for this one, we give about three liters to five liters of oxygen. So all these the students will learn. So that when they go in the real world and they find a patient in a similar condition, they will remember what they learned in the skills and they will be able to integrate the skills. And this will minimize the risk of harming the patients on the ward. So during class, the students undertake a certain course known as neonatology. And this is a course which uh, teaches students the different conditions that newborn babies may have that may require them to be nest in the incubator. Some of these conditions are that maybe the baby is born premature or the baby may have difficulties in breathing. Maybe they have they've developed uh, jaundice and they require to be put in an incubator. And so the skills here that the students learn is how to nurse a baby in an incubator. They are taught on how the temperature should be regulated. They are taught how the baby should be handled. They are taught how to nurse this baby during the whole period when they are in the incubator. So the aim of this skills acquisition is that when they go to see now the real uh, world, when they are in the real world, when they come up across such conditions, the student would not be taken surprised they will be able to offer at least what they would have known from the skills. So when they reach there, they will just be uh, um, improving on what they've learned in the skills lab, of course, with the help of preceptors. The university is a multidisciplinary training institution, offering training at certificate, diploma, and postgraduate levels. The university has students' Wi-Fi, 24-7 internet connectivity, restaurants and a theater for students relaxation. I was motivated to come to Levy Medical University because I learned that it's one among the largest multipurpose medical university in Southern Africa. And after I came, I, it has been proven even above what I've learned before. Levy is a well-equipped medical university for medical training. Having been at this university has taught me a lot. I believe that uh, the reception that they've given us as foreign international students to come and learn here and procure all the required knowledge has actually been of benefit. To those who actually want to come here, I really encourage them because the procurement of knowledge at this university applied with equipment of the latest technologies has done more benefit to all of us. In an effort to enhance healthcare provision, the university has continued to undertake some of the most complicated operations in the country. Here where we are, uh, this is our uh, main theatre. Here at Levy we have two theatres. We have the main theatre and uh, uh, the down theatre where we do the emergencies and dirty uh, cases. So here in the main theatre we have uh, a total number of eight uh, theatre rooms. So this is theater number one. Uh, we use it for 
two main uh, category of cases especially. We use it for neurosurgery, uh, we use it also for uh, orthopedic uh, uh, operations for a simple reason uh, because this theater which is number one uh, is a very sterile theater not to say other theaters are not sterile but the level of sterility for this particular theater is uh, uh, top class for a simple reason also because we want to make sure that there is no infection to the board when infection goes to the board it's very difficult to treat when infection goes to the brain when they're doing neurosurgery it's difficult to treat so we restrict numbers and keep this theater almost a, uh, an enclosed place with the restricted numbers so today we're going to be doing a case uh, we will be doing a total knee uh, replacement i want to make mention also to say that uh, we are proud as levy university teaching hospital to be the leader of uh, arthroplasty. This includes hip replacement and knee replacement. We have the, current, uh, we have the highest numbers of uh, cases done in uh, hip replacement and total uh, uh, knee replacement. So today we'll be performing a knee replacement. And the other thing I wanted to make mention about uh, replacement, you may want to know that it is regarded as uh, one of the uh, greatest inventions of the 20th century because it changed the human life. It changed the way we treat degenerative osteoarthritis. The pain the patients experience without changing, without replacing the knee is excruciating. So the coming of arthroplasty and particularly hip and knee replacement has revolutionized our treatment for uh, hip replacement. So we are uh, happy here at Levy being a leader because uh, first of all we are a public facility and we have the highest numbers uh, in terms of turnover of the uh, cases that we do in hip and uh, knee replacement. The university has continued to engage stakeholders at both local, national and international fora as a way of maximizing its presence in the sector. What we're depicting here is a theatre, um, what happens in theatre at Levi Monasa Teaching Hospital. So what we have here is a knee surgery. So knee surgery is one of the operations that we do at Levi Monasa Hospital. Not a lot of government hospitals are doing this. Um, I know of two other centres that are doing knee surgeries. So Levi Monasa is one of the few that are doing knee surgeries. Um, apart from the knee surgery, um, there are other su uh, surgeries that we are doing at Levi Monawasa. For instance, um, the other surgeries that we do are neurosurgery and um, hepatobiliary surgery. Um, I'll speak about hepatobiliary surgery because it's the only uh, hub in the country that is doing these complex uh, surgeries under uh, uh, Professor Chipaila. Hepatobiliary means uh, surgeries surrounding uh, the liver and uh, the pancreas. Now, these are sophi this is a very um, sophisticated surgery that is only being done at uh, at Levy. So, as a hub, uh, what we have done is that we've constituted a team uh, at Levy that looks after these patients. At the Zambia International Trade Fair in Indola. The university maximized its presence through the showcasing of various exhibitions to members of the public and its would-be clients. So under our school we've got a number of programs running which we are inviting everyone to apply and come and be part of this great initiative. Uh, we have six degree programs which are the Bachelor of Pharmacy, Bachelor of Physiotherapy, Bachelor of Science in Radiography, Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics, Bachelor of Science in Counseling, 
and the Bachelor of Science in Speech and Language Therapy, a, a new program which is being offered in Zambia for the first time with a lot of expertise. We are encouraging you to come. You don't need to go outside the country to start to study speech and language therapy. Under diploma programs, we have the diploma in counseling, psychosocial counseling. We also have uh, a very new program also being offered in Zambia for the first time, which is prosthetics and orthotics, a diploma in prosthetics and orthotics. Come and be part of this exciting program and many other programs in our school. We also have a certificate in counseling. This is an ongoing program which we offer throughout the year. So you are free to come and enroll and be part of this program. The Institute of Biblical and Biomedical Sciences uh, basically looks at foundation courses. This is the school that houses the School of Natural Sciences. And apart from that, the School of Biomedical Sciences, as, as its name suggests, offers diploma programs in biomedical science and also a degree program in biomedical sciences. We can also uh, talk about our state of the art laboratories because we want our students to learn in a very good environment. So under IBBS, we have very good labs with uh, well-equipped modern infrastructure and equipment Apart from that, we are encouraging the postgraduates. We have a lab for graduate studies where anyone in Zambia can come and do research in that lab. We also have a master's program. The master's program is called Master of Infectious Disease. This is offered under open and distance learning. Open and uh, distance learning is housed by the School of uh, basic and biomedical sciences. We are encouraging all the in-service members throughout the country to come and learn. We have various programs under the school of under the open and distance learning program. Recently we are also going to introduce a new program which will be the first of its kind in Zambia and this is called uh, medical microbiology. This is the first program to be introduced here in Zambia and it will be offered by Levi Mwanawasa Medical University. And so we are encouraging members, the in-service in particular, those who have diplomas in biomedical sciences to come and register for this program which will start next year. From all the provinces we are encouraging members to be part of this new program in our country. Um, under the School of um, Medicine, which is the biggest school uh, at Levi Manasseh University. So this school offers programs um, from certificate level to postgraduate um, uh, level. So we have one program, uh, which is a certificate in dental assisting. We have um, one program in advanced diploma. We have six diploma courses. We have seven uh, degree programs. And we have two master's programs in clinical ophthalmology and uh, master's of optometry. We have four MED programs, which are master's of uh, medicine in PIT, OBS and GYN, uh, internal medicine, and surgery. So what makes um, this school unique, which is uh, also makes uh, Levy unique, is that it's the only school that offers optometry in the entire country. It's the only school that offers uh, specialization in eye care services which it offers not just to Zambians, but also people from other countries. So all that are interested in making a difference and helping curb avoidable blindness can come to Levi Manasa and visit and be part of this change. Um, in the school, we run quite a number of public health programs, starting from diploma to postgraduate uh, level. I'll start with the diploma level. So. Uh, we have two diploma uh, programs, diploma in public health and diploma in environmental health. These are three-year programs and uh, for now we only have for full-time students. 
we hope in future we also include uh, distance uh, uh, students. Then at the next level, Bachelor of Science, we have three programs. Bachelor of Science in Public Health General, Bachelor of Science in Public Health Nutrition, and Bachelor of Science in Environmental Health. All the three uh, uh, are for five years. We start, of course, like any other programs in health sciences with uh, A levels, advanced levels in biology, mathematics, physics, and chemistry. That's first year. Second year, we introduce them to the field, public health. And then uh, third and fourth year, they look at uh, technical public health courses. Then in their final year, they look at applied, what we call applied uh, public health in their respective fields. They also do research. So these are people who are involved in public health programs, uh, environmental health, and public health nutrition. Then at postgraduate level, we have three, uh, two programs, uh, Master of Public Health, General, and Master of Science in Field Epidemiology. Both of them are run for, uh, for, for two years. Let me start with the Master of Science in in environmental, I mean, field epidemiology. Um, this is a program that is supported by our partners, uh, Centers for Disease Prevention and Control, CDC, uh, World Bank, and, and PEPFA, in, in collaboration with ZNPHI, Z, uh, Zambia National Public Health Institute, and the Ministry of Health. The program is fully uh, supported, sponsored, uh, CDC pays for student tuition, uh, monthly stipend, and accommodation. And um, we get students who are already in the field in the Ministry of Health, and these specialize in uh, uh, field epidemiology that is uh, managing outbreaks, surveillance systems, and uh, generally. Uh, infectious diseases so these are experts and we saw their work during the recent uh, COVID outbreak they did quite well so this is disease intelligence and then uh, master of public health these specialize in general public health uh, mainly the, the many uh, thrust of public health okay um, they look at the pillars of, of, of public health which are uh, health systems in terms of uh, human resource management, service uh, delivery, governance and leadership, healthcare financing and economics, uh, and informa information systems. So these are the people who manage our health care systems. So these are the programs we have. And then for MPH, we have both for full time and, and distance. For now, uh, field epidemiology is just full time. Uh, they spend six months in class, and then the uh, other 18 months is in the field where they learn how to manage outbreaks and uh, conducting uh, surveillance systems. These are the programs we have for now. We hope in future we we'll have other programs. So, for those of you who are interested in coming to Levy, you can come either through the registrar's office or my office, the dean's office. We'll give you application forms and we'll tell you more about the programs that we are, we are running. Then we're also uh, planning to run short courses, for, especially for the non-governmental organizations. Short pro, uh, courses in, in uh, health research, uh, health planning, health economics and, and financing uh, and leadership. So these will help uh, our people who are in service, who may not find time to be in class for, for the whole 24 month period. And this can also help people who are in leadership positions, even the Ministry of Health at different, different levels. So you are all welcome. As a university, our training is anchored on our vision as a globally recognized center of excellence in research and higher educational training for healthcare service provision. We pride ourselves in providing students with world-class education that enables them to achieve their full potential. Begin your career to greatness with the best.